The engines on the island of Sodor look forward to Halloween. They love Sir Topham Hatt's fireworks, and the children dressing up as wizards and witches. They also love Edward's spooky stories. They say that on Halloween, the ghost engine returns to the smelters looking for his lost whistle. Ooh, 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 ah, spooky, the engine said, all shivering a little. Later, Sir Topham had arrived. Thomas, Percy and Duck, I have a special job for you. You want to collect some scrap from the smelter's yard tonight. On Halloween? Don't worry. You will be back in time for the fireworks. Percy isn't worried about missing the fireworks, teased Thomas. He's a scaredy engine. I am not called Percy. But he was... a little. At the smelters, all Percy could think about was Edward's ghost engine. Thomas knew Percy was scared, so he teased him even more. What's that up there? Thomas squeaked. Is it a spook? It's just a piece of twisted scrap, Percy said nervously. Isn't it? Thomas was having fun. He kept on teasing Percy. Careful the ghost engine doesn't get you, Thomas said. There's no such thing as ghosts, snapped Percy. Duck felt sorry for Percy. Nobody's brave all the time, said Duck. But I'm not a scaredy engine, Percy insisted. The job was nearly complete. Well done, the yard manager said. Now I'll need one engine to finish up. Duck wanted to pay Thomas back for all his teasing. Please, sir, he said. I'm sure Thomas wouldn't mind staying. Of course not, Thomas boasted. I'm not a scaredy engine. So Duck and Percy left. When Thomas was by himself, Every sound and every shadow was spooky. He was beginning to feel very scared. There's no such thing as ghosts, he said nervously. Who's there? Thomas was so busy looking for ghosts, he didn't watch where he was going. Chains felt like ghost fingers. Something's got me! Thomas wished and set off an old steam whistle. The g -g ghost whistle, said Thomas, and he raced away as fast as his wheels could carry him. The ghost engine is after me! It was naughty of Thomas to tease you, Percy, said Duck. He was only playing, said Percy. I hope he hurries up. I wouldn't want him to be late for the fireworks. He's after me! I don't think he'll be late, said Duck. Duck and Percy joined the other engines for the fireworks. Where's Thomas? Percy asked. He'll miss all the fun. It would serve him right after all his teasing, Duck said. But Percy was worried. He went to look for his friend. He found Thomas all alone in the shed. Are you all right, Thomas? He said. Yes. I'm sorry I teased you, Percy, Thomas said. Duck was right. We all feel scared sometimes. And we all have to say sorry sometimes, said his friend. So come on, Thomas. We can watch the fireworks just as well from here. He was right.